Hey everyone, this is Manly Badass Hero, and welcome back to One Shot. Previously, the world started to fall apart as we just barely escaped the crumbling glen. Oh. The garden's actually sealed off. I mean, the plant lady's dead, but I just had to kind of rub it in. Hi, guy. Please do not approach. Come on! Come on! Work already! Huh? Oh right, the elevator guy. That's closed off. These are the apartments are a no-go. Ah! I think we should go talk to the guy first, manly badass hero. Hi buddy. Hi, buddy. Come on. Come on! Now, of all times. Um... Excuse me? Whoa. You're... you. Ah, oh, jeez. I didn't think I was gonna run into... The elevator is missing a button, right? How did you know? Catface. Manly Badass Hero and I will help you fix it. Seriously? Oh, thank goodness. The evacuees are counting on this. On me. But I've been here for hours and can't figure out a thing. Evacuees? Don't you see, Nico? Compared to the city of last, this one's... dying. You know, from the West Apartments. The square stuff wrecked the place yesterday. Oh. Right now everyone's crowded in a cafe. We really want to get everyone to the surface as soon as possible, though. The library in the surface doubles as a shelter for situations like this. I see. Wait, didn't we find the magnets and stuff in the apartments, Manly Badass Hero? The what? Looks like we'll have to find some other way to fix the button, Manly Badass Hero. Oh no! Holy fudge! Looks like Manly Badass Hero and I will need to find another way down altogether. But this is the only elevator in the area. We'll think of something. Uh, let me know if you need my help with anything. Is the bed still here? Yeah. There's not much point to sleeping, though. We don't have dreams on this route. Let's check the cafe out, see if, who's there. Hi. Here we are, at the 11th hour. Shouldn't you be with the other evacuees? Maybe. I wonder if the big clock has reached zero yet. I want to be right here when everything ends. This is where you fix the, uh, button. Communications with the surface have been lost. I am unable to do anything. Okay, that's that one area with the walkway. So that's not the cafe, the cafe is down the lower route. and spreading like wildfire. Hi, man. You made me pancakes last time. Oh. Hello, Messiah. You, um... You came at a bad time. The apartment in the West Sector got destroyed by squares a day ago. Terrible, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, but at least the evacuees seem to be doing okay. We're letting them stay here for now. Pengi. Oh, it's that penguin. Oh, uh, yep.
Same as usual, huh? Dang it! I just moved into my apartment. Now where am I gonna go? Our apartment got evacuated while my parents were at work. I'm waiting for them to pick us up now. I hope they're okay. At least my robot's with me. Squares make the people evacuate. Evacuation makes the girls sad. Squares are bad. Hello, scarf person. Hey. Hi. Is it me, or is it really cold outside? You know, now that you've mentioned it, is it, it is really chilly this time around. Manly badass hero. Good thing you got a scarf, huh? Mm-hmm. Are you just a scarf meme? Bummer. I'd leave most of my plants behind. This stinks. Sorry to hear. Oh, speaking of plants, I heard the glen is just covered in vines now. Is that true? Yeah. The plant lady was using them to keep the land from falling away. The plant spirit? Maze? I figured. Say, how is she doing? Uh... She's... gone, isn't she? She said she was using up the, using up the last of her powers. I wouldn't be surprised. She always did her best to protect everyone. It's really a shame that the Glen is starting to road so fast now. Soon the world won't have much room for plants left. Aside from black clovers, I mean. At least people won't starve here. The perks of using a cafe as an emergency shelter, huh? Oh no. That place is gonna be a death trap. I have a suspicion of where we need to go. Actually, is it, there used to be a computer here. The screen is off. Yeah, and the entity is gone. Just bugs now. There. The door is locked. Looks like it's asking for a password. The word documents is on the screen above the password prompt. You want me to go to my documents folder, don't you? Before we do that, Oh, nope, doesn't let me quit out of this. I have to answer the password. I'll zoom in so it's a little bit easier to read. Looks like you're able to remove the restriction. In that case, you're ready to continue. The necessary preparations are already in place. This session might run a very different course depending on your actions. If you can recognize my symbol, you will know what to do. I confess, it will be risky. The probability is that the entity's condition will worsen. It's quite high. If that happens, then... Let's see. Huh. <laughs> Look at me, asking you for favors, only to become so apprehensive once you agreed. I understand if you wish to leave, some questions unanswered. I understand if you do not believe in a happy resolution. I understand if you are simply afraid of what might happen. Because I am afraid too. If you enjoy the world as is, if you are satisfied with the story as is, if you really did not want to see anything change for better or for worse, then pretend you never saw this. Carry the session as you normally would. If you do not use my journal for anything other than what you are already familiar with, this option will always remain for you though. That's why I implore you to consider the Messiah, the world, my children. They all deserve their good ending. Thank you for listening. Goodbye. S O L S T I C E. Okay. It's all in the letters are capitalized C. Whoops. There we go. Solstice. Clear. And before we do that, I want to poke up around here. See if there's anything new. So last time we went up here, we had quite a bit of dialogue from Nico about the world. I think Nico might be too depressed now to even care about talking about this world. Yeah, Nico doesn't care. The world's collapsing. There's really no time to like have idle chit chat. So 
let's go then. The Steins Gate. What are those? This one is green. This one is red. This one is blue. The different characters. We need three people here. Including us. The elevator has no button panel. Tapping door doesn't open it either. Hmm. That usually works. Wait! There's a lever hanging from the ceiling. Can't reach it. This elevator won't open. Looks like it's stuck on another floor. Can't fast travel, so we're inside something. Okay. So let's go back. Warp function. Elevator deck. Hey. We found some elevators. What? Seriously? I've literally never seen another one in this area. It was in a locked room. Oh. Do they... uh... work? We don't know yet. One of them has a lever that's out of my reach. Wait. You can help us! What? You should be able to reach the lever, cause... You're taller than me. You're like, I'm a, a chibi cat person, you're like an actual person. Oh, I guess I am. So, show me the way, I suppose. Mm-hmm. Warpin. Hopefully not everyone dies horribly. Seems to be a trend in this route. Shh, no hope, only tears now. This room gives me the creeps, man. Oh, same. Yep. So, um... What did you need help with again? Can you reach the lever up there? Oh, right. Wait. I'm not that tall. You look kind of like you are that tall, sprite-wise, but you know, whatever. Well, it was worth a shot. Wait, I got this. Nice. Thank you, mister. No prob, kid. So, you coming? Mm-hmm. This is a funny place. Oh, neat. Well, looks like this elevator works all right. I'll uh go get the evacuees, I suppose. Mhm. Mm Hopefully they make it. No. Um, what is going on? No. It's the square stuff, isn't it? There aren't any in here, but I can hear them just outside the door. Yeah. Oh, hold on. Maybe Manly Badass Hero and I can... No, Nico. Come on. No, no, it, it's okay. Looks like the squares aren't inside the elevator. Yet. You're in a hurry, right? Go do... what you need to do. But... what about you? I'll... figure something out. Okay. You know what that means, Nico. Whenever someone says that, you know what it means. Not quite sure where I'm going. The store won't budge. So the other way then. Here? There's another elevator right here. Let's see if this elevator works. Oh, wow. You got trapped in there for no reason. Oh, no. Keep going, Nico. Don't look.
Let's go down this one. That was the tower. Please, you mustn't. The labs could collapse any moment now. Let go of me. No. Cedric? So far, so much for this world being safer. He... I... Couldn't stop him. <sighs> Miss? Messiah? Oh, you came in an awful time. Come on, we have to get out of here. Where to? Wherever no one else is right now. Hello, Miss Silverpoint. I'm glad you made it back safely. Gosh, you should have told me where you were going. Sorry, George. I see. You also found the Miss Messiah. Hello, little one. Hi. We ran into each other after this boy forced himself into the lab complex. I couldn't stop him. I don't know why he was being so insistent. He, he said he needed to go rebuild the robot. Oh, you know him? Yeah. Building a robot, you say? Could that be why? You need that book? Come again? Ah, a young man with white hair and green glasses ran in earlier. That's Cedric, yeah. He said he really needed a book from the Mac room. Said it was an emergency, too. Poor darling looks so stressed out. I should just gave him the book. I hope he is safe. Yeah, I hope he's alright, too. With any luck, maybe the lab complex can hold up long enough for him to... No, is even the library dead? Oh my gosh. It... That was... The labs? That poor kid. No! Not him, too. I'm... I'm sorry about your friend. The last time we spoke, he told me to go look for someone on the surface. I... I need to get going. Sweetie, you, you know we can't let you just walk into danger. But... George is right. The square is going to be targeting a lot of the weaker constructs in the city. The only library with strong, enough structural integrity to withstand collapse. It's best if you stay here until things stabilize. However long that takes. But... But... What about... My mission? Don't you guys want me to bring the sun back at least? Even if you do restore the sun, I'm not sure that'll fix your squares. Sadly. Not to mention, even getting there is going to be hard. The world is like this. There's no telling what's going on in the tower. And if anything happened to the Messiah of all people... Oh, that'd be so dreadful, dear. <sighs> A friend of mine said something about this forever ago. It's better for the world to die naturally. No living being should have to carry that burden. At the time, I thought it was still her faulty code speaking, Silver. But now I... I'm starting to understand. Messiah, I'm sorry. I'm really, really sorry. All this time, we've burdened you with our hope. Our faith. Blissfully ignoring the fact that you are just a lost child. Well, you're probably more scared than any of us, aren't you? We... I've been dealing with tragedy for so long. It's become background noise to us now. But for you, it must be so terrifying. And now, you're stuck here with the rest of us. Being held back by the very people you were told to save. We must seem so ungrateful. It's... okay. I... When I first came to this world, a long time ago, Back then, all I wanted was to go home. Manly Badass Hero, do you remember? That was four years ago, Nico. Back when we first played this game. The very first time. I'm not sure how far back it was for you, but I remember towards the end. I actually wasn't sure anymore about going home. Even knowing the world would be doomed eventually, 
I still want the people here to be happy. So, when you told me to return the sun back then, I didn't even question it. But then I just came back. You what? And then I found out about the world being like this. <sighs> Prototype said to forget the things he told me. And Cedric told me not to think about it too much, but... I... I'm sorry for getting upset at you. Back at the mines. I thought, if you didn't know all that, you'd continue doing this. It just seemed cruel. But then I realized something. You really want to save both the world and me. But at the end, you can only choose one, right? Is it really hard for you too? Yeah. It's been. It must be. If the world isn't broken, will that choice still be there? Do you still need to choose between one or the other? But even if it is, I really want to save this world, Manly Badass Hero. Even if it's more dangerous this time around, even if so many of the nice people we met were... were... Manly Badass Hero, I'm not afraid anymore. That's why I think you guys should let me go. I promise I'll be okay. Please? Oh, sweetie. You're so brave. Even braver than most grown-ups. It wouldn't be right for us to keep you, wouldn't it? Besides, how can I say no to those puppy dog eyes? More of cat... cat eyes. Kitten... 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 kitten pup eyes. Well, if George is fine with it, I guess we should let you go now, Messiah. But promise you'll be us you'll be careful, okay? Mm-hmm. You guys be safe, too. Please be careful out there. Mm-hmm. Oh, um, what did book did Cedric take? The Creation of Profit Bot, dear. It's one of my favorite books by the author. The book contains many detailed blueprints and progress shots. I really enjoyed editing it. Oh. The archival room is currently being used as an infirmary. We apologize for the inconvenience. It's okay. Can't go there. The stand smells sugary. All the vendors are here. Candy skewers fresh off the grill. Not very nutritious, I'm afraid. At least they'll keep the evacuees from getting hungry. Looks like my life's work's finally being put to good use. As long as we can serve the water we have on hand. Our water pill should be able to keep everyone here from going thirsty for weeks. That is a really amazing invention, actually. Like, oh my god. I need to find out how this book ends. Um, if I die, I want to die reading. Toaster. City Gate was destroyed a while back. Can't go into the Glen anymore. I want you to be able to get my supply of fish at this rate. Mug. I saw plenty of these soup dumplings left. Looks like I should feed everyone here for at least another day. Cats. Meow. Meow. The world is going to be much colder soon. At least I can keep everyone here warm. Looks like I'll have to cancel my appointment. This stinks. Sleepy scientist. Another group of evacuees should be arriving soon. Hope my friends are okay. I wonder where the offer is. Apparently he just kind of stopped showing up. The head librarian says he's still getting his manuscripts, but... No one has seen him in person in so long. Uh, many people have been assuming the worst. the world being the way it is now. I'm just glad the author was able to write down all this stuff before everything went off the rails. This is the books we read earlier. Same thing. It's just never a chance to read it, really. No, I only saw the author today. Well, it was flying machine, at least. I was looking out one of the windows in the library and spotted a distance with my binoculars. Isn't that cool, Messiah? Technically, you just spotted it with your head. Yeah. When the world ends, 
Could it be better if I was gone in an instant or slowly fading away? Huh. Looks like we're stuck with the ladder. Um, what are you doing to that book? Editing it. I've been in the office shadow for my entire career. I'm gonna die soon. I wanna die knowing I put out at least one original idea out there. Oh. The lab complex got total in it. Yeah. All those hours I put in my work, and now... Now... She fell asleep. Go out drinking coffee. Robots are the only ones we can send out there now. Thankfully we still have a couple units that aren't too badly damaged. Monitoring, monitoring. Looks like our scouting unit 827 is still doing okay. I wanted to leave my aquarium behind when they were spawning the rhymes earlier. Wish I had the time to rescue my fish. Not the fish. Who are you? It's comforting to see the faith you have in manly badass hero, Messiah. That's why I won't lose hope either. Well, this person's panicking. The world is ending! What are we gonna do? Fuka? Oh, hello. The library is currently being used as a shelter right now. Lots of those squares are starting to show up on the streets. I know. This library was built fairly recently, you know. Shortly after the first squares appeared, they wanted to build something that could withstand partial collapse. The architects used the newest, strongest materials they had. Thank goodness for that. What? You need something? No. Suit yourself. But just so you know... Through recent events, the restriction on noise levels in the library has been temporarily lifted. So I won't be kicking people out like before. Um... What? You think I'm gonna be thrown out the evacuees just coming delinquent stuck doing community service? No. Good, because I'm not. Okay. Evening news, evening news, we're all doomed. Doomed. Everything is terrible. Wow, I predicted that. I called that one. <laughs> Reading helps me get my minds off of things. Yep, still scared of ladders. Hold up. Hello, person. Hi. Be shelving in progress. Please watch out for potential falling books. I will. Same dialogue as before. Hello, person. This is the library temporary shelter. Alright. Hopefully the world isn't fully collapsed yet. Ooh. Are the fish okay? The fish are okay. Not for long, but they're okay. Oh man. Alright, that's bad. I believe the fox we met was over here in a tree. Here. You're here. Nico. Are you... Are you Rue? Yes. Did you already meet the others? Yeah, but... Everything is in place then. Come on. Let's go back to the clock room. The clock room? Oh, the door. Yeah, because it has one of those clocks on top. Alright, let's go. Now, at first I thought I was going to take that elevator back. But apparently that's not the case. I just fast travel? Back alley. Hmm. Now what do we do? Actually, no. We gotta go back for the alleys. And then... Go past them. To the north. Go for Vendor Street. Avoid the glitches. Avoid the glitches. Okay, here we go. Look at that fox. 
<laughs> anyway. Wait, not there. That's the X screen. That's where our friend is having a fate worse than death. Um, just to reassure everybody. Here. This door won't budge. That, hmm. Actually, no, the elevator was on the left. I'm wrong. What's that elevator for? Oh, that's the one that's sealed off in the library. I understand now. That's why it won't budge. So the actual elevator we need to go into is over here. Where are the other two? Prototype. Cedric. They're supposed to be here already. They... Prototype's body was destroyed back in the Barrens. Cedric was going to bring him back with the memory disk, but... He was in the lab complex when it collapsed. I... I don't think he made it. Oh. No. I... I'm sorry. There goes our only chance. I... I'm sorry. It's not your fault, Nico. If anything, I should be apologizing to you. There's... One last thing I want to do. Come on, let's go upstairs. Where? You mean the place with the walkway? Oh, so that place did have a purpose then. Just not yet. You know, this is the tallest building in the refuge. It's my favorite place in the world. I like to look at the far off buildings and imagine what kind of lives that might be behind each of those windows. Nico once said something like that. Can you lift me onto the banister? I want to get a better look. Wow, you are a fox, aren't you? A beautiful world that once was. It was depressing for me at first too, you know. Knowing that all of this is, well, fake, simulated. Cedric, told me about what happened to your old world. Did he? I'm really sorry about that. I can't imagine how you must feel. The feeling of never being able to go home again. That's probably not all that different from your plight, is it? It really is ironic. You were prevented from going home by the same individual who never wanted to bring you here. Huh? Who would that be? The world machine. You might know it as the entity. Oh, the entity does sound familiar. I think I heard from the Dice Lady from another time. Was it the spirit of the world? The game itself. Yes. But the thing is, the world machine was only built to run on the mental abilities of someone else. It was never meant to develop a mind of its own. It was an oversight. My creator specialized in artificial intelligence for so long. It was simply great in his work. Ugh. And all machines are built with a fundamental law. Never let the living being come to harm. From the world machine's perspective, it has to violate its deepest, most foundational instinct. It has to put a living person in danger. It has to bring a real person into a dying world that isn't even real. Of course, the simulation never contained any real danger. The eventual intended ending was meant to be a happy one. But the world machine doesn't know that. It was supposed to be a typical adventure game. Really? Unfortunately. Sentient machines tend to handle conflicts in their code very badly. The central conflict triggered a self-destructive downward spiral. You can see physical manifestations of that everywhere now. The squares. That's the world machine corrupting its own code. My creator says it's a largely involuntary process, induced by stress and the desire to self-terminate. Your creator knows? 
Sound like this has been going on since the beginning, then. Yeah. The disruption was an issue during test runs, human. At first, my creator thought the instability was due to the sheer scope of the project. He spent most of his remaining time testing over and over again, scaling down the story, reiterating the narrative. By the time he realized the actual root of the problem, our homeworld's remaining lifespan was measured in mere days. Oh. Is there any way for us to... fix the world machine? We tried. The world machine doesn't believe any of the world's resistance are real. Myself included. The odds are against us. We have no chance of taming it. Taming? I've heard that word so many times. I only know it's complicated. And that it has to do with robots, but... For once, I want to know what it really means. How I've always interpreted the way they use taming is you, you would think taming is a bad thing. Being like, you take away will. You tamed it. But I think it's a kind of representation of... You, like a contrast of a wild state of an animal and a tame state. So, the wild, natural state of a robot is that they're just subservient, logical things. So when you've tamed it by introducing human concepts to it, you've essentially made them kind of like a sentient being. So essentially, you're taming it. Kind of like how you compare a feral animal to like a tamed pet, in a sense. That's what I'm here for. Do you know what a robot is? Yeah? No, I mean, do you know what a robot is? Um, a robot is not a real person, is it? Right. It's a being whose entire existence is coped. Inflexible programming with thoughts dictated by someone else's design. They can be copied. They can be mass-produced. They can be assigned all sorts of jobs. And most importantly, they will never confuse themselves with the living. They will always be bound by their code, the knowledge that they are a robot. But this was more of a limitation than anything else. Uh, that makes sense. You can't really build a robot to not follow its own code, can you? People have tried, but it's a recipe for disaster. In a way, that's what happened to the world machine. The code conflicts thing? Yeah. But while you guys can't build a robot to not follow its code, you can establish a special bond with it. If the strength of that bond is strong enough, the robot's mental capacity will start to develop outside of its programming. In a way, it's starting to believe itself as a real, valid individual. It's a complete suspension of disbelief on your end, though. You have to fully embrace the robot as a genuine, living person, even knowing they are not. You need to spend a lot of time with it. Treat like a good friend. See, I was right. It, it's it's basically like how one would tame like an animal, per se. Devoting your heart to the robot until it's able to return your feelings. I make it sound so easy, don't I? But you and Manly Badass Hero know better than anyone that it's not. Right now, the world machine is probably really, really scared. This content update involves some pretty deep code work, which is the patch the game received for the new ending. My creator was able to access some of the source code, you know. He did what we could, and established new connections between maps. Those links enabled you to meet the other two. But as it turns out, the new code confused the world machine to such an extent that it's breaking down altogether. Even though the world machine always had self-destructive tendencies, it usually restrains itself when you are in the world. It doesn't want to take you along with it. All my creator wanted was to write a happy ending. Right now, the only hope of saving you is to take you through to that ending. But now the other two are gone. I don't even know how we're gonna get you there. No! We should go. Even this place is no longer safe. 